today we're shopping for turkeys, and if you're looking around for your Thanksgiving meal, there's a wide variety of options out there for either fresh turkey or for frozen turkey. Today we've got three examples. This one here is a just a um, turkey breast. Uh, the bone has been taken out of it. It is called an extra tender and juicy turkey. It has been enhanced, and that means it's add, had an, a solution added that may have flavor enhancers in it, may have a little salt, some extra water in there to help keep the, the turkey juicy. Frozen turkeys can be kept in the freezer for a year. Um, as long as they've never been flawed out or any damage to them, they'll be fine to use. So you can keep them in a freezer for the year. So this is a smaller size. This would be good for one or two people. Um, and then you, whatever leftovers you have, you can always uh, use those later. Here we have a couple larger tur turkeys. And this one in particular says it is a young turkey. And this means that it's uh, no older than eight months of age. So it's a pretty young bird. You may see some turkeys that are labeled either as a hen or a tom. It really makes no difference in as, as far as the tenderness of the turkey. Um, it's just to indicate that you're either getting a male or a female turkey. Again, these are uh, enhanced with a solution to make them extra tender and juicy. There are instructions on the package on how to cook them properly, so that takes the guesswork out of that if you don't actually have a recipe. And then this is another type of turkey. And again, it's been uh, enhanced with a flavoring or uh, tenderizers. Um, it is also frozen. The instructions are on the back of it. The other thing to remember is the safe handling instructions, which on these turkeys are on the, the uh, wrapping, the netting. Um, so they're on the little tag where the price is. The other thing to look for when you're looking at labels is the, the sell-by date, whether it's sell-by, best if used by, or just a use-by date. A sell-by date means how long the store can display things in the case or on the shelf um, and how long it can be for sale. If it's a best if used by date, it's really more of an indication of quality mainly on like canned goods or dry goods. Um, a best if used by date is a good quality indicator on how uh, good the product is gonna taste or the texture of it will be. Um, it's not so much of a huge safety issue. Um, the use by dates is the last date that the product can be um, stored. Um, and those are probably more like on a dairy product or a bread type product. You wanna use those by those dates. The other thing that you might see in the store on um, turkeys is a natural uh, indication that on the labeling it may say natural product. The term natural is really kind of open-ended, um, but if it does say that, it should say why. There should be an explanation why they are calling this a natural product. Um, in, in that it may not uh, have contain any artificial ingredients, uh, or any preservatives or anything like that. If you're looking for a fresh turkey, Fresh turkeys should never be below 26 degrees. Any lower than that, the turkey will start to freeze. So it's considered a fresh turkey if it's um, at least 26 to 30 degrees. And a frozen turkey must be at zero degrees or below. The other thing that you might look for is the basted or self-basted um, label on here, which many of these are. Um, and again, it'll list what the ingredients are on the ingredient statement as to what was used to enhance the flavor um, and for the basting mixture that's in the, in the turkey. Production support for this video has been provided by hy V. For more information, visit the K-State Research and Extension website at www.ksre.ksu.edu.